ladies welcome back to my channel this is your girl Maddie and I'm back with another video today and I'm back with my girls you guys I'm back with my beauty over 40 collab and we are gonna do a fall makeup look for you guys for the month of September so please don't forget to go check out all of the other ladies I will have all of their links to their YouTube channel down below guys so please go check them out and don't forget to show us some love by subscribing to our channel and also hitting that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we do collab videos so guys I'm gonna jump right into this video okay you guys I've already done my brows and applied my foundation the reason for this so I wouldn't have such a long video because I'm gonna do a talk through and for the foundation that I use, I'm gonna go ahead and share that. I use the Born This Way foundation. And so for the eyes, I'm gonna use this Morphe 350 palette. So this here is the shade. And I'm practically gonna be using all of these shades on this side, mainly from here, here to here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use maybe two of these browns here. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So for my transition shade, I'm going to take this shade here. It's more of a kind of neutral tan shade. I'm not good with all these colors, you know. But I'm going to do a transition shade with that one. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe M513. And next, I'm going to go in with this here orange color here. And I'm going to apply it just the same way I applied my, my transition shade. This more like, I guess, a burnt orange, I guess. Uh, not quite sure. My Morphe M503 brush and this is what it looks like it's it's kind of flat but also round and fluffy at the same time and I'm gonna go in with this shade here and I'm up and I'm gonna place this in my crease area This same Morphe 503 brush. I'm gonna go in here with this shade here. Then so and so next, I'm gonna take my Sigma E38. It's a diffused crease brush, but I'm gonna try to apply it to my crease and on my lid as well. And I'm gonna take this here brown, this chocolate brown right here, and then I'm gonna go to that one next. Apply all the way up to the crease, from the lid up to the crease. And I'm gonna take this darker shade, which I shared, that I told you guys I'll be using this one as well. That's more darker. And I'm gonna build it out in the crease area. And I'm gonna bring it on up in my crease. So, I'm going to go back with my Morphe 503, and then I'm going to try to go back into some of those orange shades, shades here and here. Just try to build those back up a little bit. So, I'm going to take a clean 
fluffy brush and it is my Morphe 511 and I'm just gonna go back into that transition shade that lighter tan and I'm just gonna blend out these harsh lines <laughs> shade to put on my brows and I'm going to take this Sigma E20 flat shader brush so then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out okay you guys I'm still with the eyes right now until I get ready to apply some lashes tight line my upper lash line so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer I'm gonna take my age rewind by Maybelline it said erase dark circles and I'm just gonna apply that and I'm gonna mix it with a lighter shade this shade here is in the shade caramel I don't usually use this much concealer, but today I am. I'm so I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my Real Technique sponge. And then I'm going to add the lighter shade a little bit on top. I would have mixed it in with this, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and blend it by itself. and contour my face and I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty contour shade in truffle I'm going to go ahead and blend this out I'm going to use my crown brush it's my crown brush and this here is my medium this here is SO35 medium face contour brush. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with the Sasha Buttercup and I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge. I'm going to go ahead and apply some bronzer, more like a contour powder. And you know, guys, I've been using my LA Girl Highlight and Contour Kit. Very affordable, a dollar. So I'm going to apply this here in my, to set my contour. Finish blending out this on my jaw. I almost forgot I had it. So I'm in, I am gonna go ahead and kind of like clean up around my contour. And I'm just gonna leave it there for a second, not too long. And I'm going to go ahead and apply those orange shadows under my under eye. And I'm going to take this shader brush. I'm going to wash it off. It's my Sigma E20 short shader brush. And I'm going to go back into this here orange. Then I'm going to take my, this here is my crown brush, it's a duo, and it has a flat shade on this side and a more of a pencil brush on the other side. 
And I'm just going into this darker orange shade. Going into that darker brown. Not the dark dark brown, but it must it look kind of more like a rust color. Then I'm going in with this darker brown, the chocolate shade that I shared. Then a deeper chocolate, more like dark chocolate. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes off camera and I will be right back with you guys to finish up the rest of my eyes and my lips and highlighter and maybe a little blush. And so next I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply my face powder and I'm going to use the matte skin finish in dark. I'm gonna go ahead and apply, apply my telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. Y'all, my lash might be trying to come off. And I'm just only applying them for the sake of this video right now. Look over this lash, you guys. If it's not on correctly, I don't want to pull it off. I'm going to go ahead and apply my inner corner with this pencil brush on this duo crown brush. And I'm going to use the same shade I used on my brow bone. It is it's this one here. So next I'll go ahead and line my lips and I'll be using the NYX uh, Lip Liner in Cocoa. And next, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lip shade, and this will be by Colourpop in the shade Limbo. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and find us some highlighter. I think I want to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade. What shade is this? I know. Oh, Crown Puff My Canopy. I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush, which is by LA Color. It's a red rouge blush in the shade Chill. Okay, you guys. Well, okay, you guys. This here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new here to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all my videos when I upload. So please go over and watch my beauties, my other ladies, and see how they created their beautiful looks. So yeah, guys, until next time, you all be blessed. And don't forget to be a blessing to someone else. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.